this is going to be hard. It's February 28th right now, and I've just gone through one of the hardest conversations, situations I think I've ever been in before. Well, definitely since the day that you passed, Aaron. Definitely. One year ago. One year ago in two weeks. It'll be one year ago since you died and bruv. I still got you watching over my back. And I definitely still got your name on my chest. See now I was gonna make this video in two weeks time and try and muster up everything I could to remember you in the right way and stuff but at the moment I got so many thoughts and emotions just charging around my head that I just needed to sit and talk to you bruv and I know there's going to be thousands of other people watching and judging me and thinking what the fuck is this guy going on about and apologies for swearing um, When you passed one year ago, bro, it was like, I remember the day, I remember it happening as clear as day, every day, when I think about you and you're in my mind, I remember what I felt when I found out, when David texted me at just after quarter to four, after I'd finished teaching and I was walking back home from the school and David texted me saying, oh, you know, you know, Aaron, and I replied with, yeah, 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 I know Aaron, and then he just replied with, he died and like I I literally hit the floor it felt like I was hitting the chest with a sledgehammer and I was so dazed and confused and just broken hearted that you were gone and when I got to say bye to you when you were buried it was one of the hardest one of the hardest things I've ever been through until today when something else happened but I made a couple of promises back then about a year ago when I come back to your grave at night um, on the night one of the one of the promises I made was totally out of my control like I had no control over it and it didn't go the way I wanted it to I didn't I didn't I didn't get to do what I wanted to do in that promise and so I made you another promise and I made you a promise to finish off what you started for me. Like what you pushed me towards, what you made me chase after. Not even in the terms of you just like giving me advice, just you being you. You being positive all the time. It really, really changed everything in me and, that, and what I knew and what I felt about everything in my life and... So I started my teaching course and my teaching career in my second year, and I, I was I was getting through it good, and you know I was in a good I was in a good place, I was in a good position, but then life being unfair and how things always seem to end up, it was just ripped away from me, and there was nothing I could do to change it or anything. And I feel I feel like I let you down. I think I, I feel like I let myself down. Like that promise. It meant a lot to me to, to finish that and for certain things that were out of my control I could have done and prepared things better so that it was in my control but I lost that opportunity to to finish that course and like before I met you I was always that person that I could see a road, I could see a path and logically I knew what I had to do to get to that light at the end of the path and you know, it's a very boring, dark road with no help or support, and I, I, I'd get to the end, but it'd be a fight, it'd be a struggle to find my way. And when I met you, and the way you were, and your personality, and everything about you, it was just you taught me to to see the thing. You taught me to see the lamps. You switched them lamps on for me. Them lamps on the side of the road to that light that come from them lamps is the things that 
were already in my life, the things that I weren't fully seeing and I was uh, I wasn't appreciating and you definitely, definitely brought that into my life and you know, when you passed the, a lot of them lights disappeared but, you know, some of them stayed and something inside me fought and fought and fought and fought and in your honour I'd done everything I could to to get to a place where you knew I could get to and you know, it kind of it kind of did with 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 um, YouTube. I remember like <laughs> about what about I don't even know about three years ago when we were talking, and my channel was just like twenty five thousand to thirty thousand subscribers, and you were just amazed and stunned by that amount of people. And we made jokes about ever hitting a hundred thousand, and I told you, you now that that ain't never gonna happen. You know, bro, it happened. <laughs> it happened. Not too long ago, to be honest. Um, my channel's flying and flourishing at the moment. It's 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 the only thing I can see true light in at the moment. And my channel and everything I've done on YouTube sort of outweighed the fact that I can't pursue the promise that I made you. And that the YouTube thing led me to someone else. Um, to something else to a situation I never saw coming and wasn't expecting and just you know when it come it just hit me like a bolt of lightning and the light that came with this situation was blinding like it was insane because I felt like I had a little bit of you back in my life and like this this situation meant everything to me but Life being unfair, it wasn't a situation that could be continued and I had to sacrifice everything. I had to make the biggest sacrifice in the world which is my heart and my feelings and everything I've ever dreamed or wished about my entire life and I had to do it because I had a responsibility towards the situation to... But you know that's that's gone at the moment, and that's just gone in the past hour, and that's that's why I got, that's why I just had to sit and talk to you, bro, because I'm confused, man, and I'm lost, and I'm struggling, and I hate to say that because I feel like I'm letting you down, I'm letting your honor down. Everything that you stood for when you passed, I stood for. And I know this feeling won't be forever and I know I'm going to get back up on my feet like I've always done my entire life and, and fight everything and come back but I'm getting tired bruv. I wish you was here, dude, just to tell me to shut up and, <laughs> and put me on that right track again. Like, I'm sure I'll find other tracks and other pathways, and I'll get something, something of what I need. But <sighs> right now, dude, I just want to tell you I miss you and I love you and. I can't believe it's been a year. A whole year, bro. And I mean your son's gonna be hitting one as well. And you didn't even get you didn't even get to meet him and that's just like heartbreaking man. If I could trade it or just so you to even have a day with him and, and, and you get to achieve what you wanted to be, I I I would do it in a heartbeat, bro. In a heartbeat. Because you did push me onto the track of, of, of getting to what I wanted to achieve and it didn't work out the way it, it maybe should have or, or you know it could have been a reason why this has all happened but I wish you could have got to to reach what you wanted to to be and no one deserved that more than you. No one on this planet deserved that more than you and you know I'm going to keep 
fighting and I'm going to keep your personality in me. I'm going to keep your honour in the forefront of my mind as long as I can. And I guess I just wanted to say thank you, bruv, and even though you're not here to kick me up the arse as to, <laughs> as to say, but... I know you're still there somewhere and you know them lights ain't gone yet I'm just struggling <laughs>